Allah loves us more than anyone else loves us. Allah cares for us more than anyone else cares for us. Allah wishes the best for us more than anyone else wishes good for us. Allah loves us more than our parents. Allah's love is greater than that of a mother. Um, Allah loves us more than we love ourselves. Allah is more desirous to see us succeed and prosper and, and, and um, be happy and be content than we have that desire ourselves. Allah has no need. Allah has mercy, Allah has compassion, Allah has benevolence. And, and those attributes of Allah wa ta'ala, uh, make us the beneficiaries of Allah's love and Allah's compassion. The relationship with Allah wa ta'ala, is not a, a, a singular one from our side. We, we worship and worship and we get nothing in return. Not only that, it's, it's not even a reciprocal one where we get exactly what is, what is due to us. Because if Allah wa ta'ala, had to treat us on the principle of reciprocity, Many of us, if not most of us, would have been in, in, in great difficulty. You know, we know how weak our sincerity is, how weak our intentions are, how weak our, our efforts are. Even when we do good, even when we worship Allah, wa uh, there's so many holes, so to speak. There's so many weaknesses. There's so many uh, deficiencies. So what we, what we need to understand is that uh, uh, Allah wa ta'ala, does not want to see us fail. Uh, worshipping Allah is, is for our benefit not because there's a need on Allah's side Allah doesn't treat, treat us on a reciprocal basis Allah actually gives us much more than what we deserve we know the hadith could see. Uh, you come to me uh, walking I come to you running you take a small step towards me I take a big step towards you you make a little bit of effort I reward you in, in great abundance in Allah ma'al muhsinin Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is with those who do good Allah says wal ladina jahadu fina lanahdiyannahum subulana you make an effort in the path of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala then Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says i will i will open up the doors of uh, of of hidayah and, and 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 guidance for you if you if you make that effort in my path i'll open up the doors of uh, of hidayah and guidance for you so that's something that uh, we, we we should understand and something that we should be cognizant of that Allah wants us to succeed and Allah has put in place for us all the guidelines for us to succeed and Allah grants us tawfiq and Allah forgives us and Allah blesses us and Allah pulls us back onto the, onto the straight path. Now what is required from us is to relish the ibadah and the worship of Allah. Wa ta'ala. We should always make dua to Allah that Allah must grant us enthusiasm for ibadah. Allah must grant us the sweetness of ibadah, halawat al-iman, the sweetness of faith. Ladhat al-iman. Uh, you know, the, the enjoyment of, of Iman, uh, the enjoyment of Ibadah and worship. Now, if, if you feel you're not getting that enjoyment, maybe that's a test from Allah. You shouldn't give up. You'll still get the reward. You'll still get the benefit. It's like a person who's not enjoying the food, but he still has to eat in order to be able to, uh, to survive physically. So you still have to worship Allah wa ta'ala in order to survive spiritually. But the more you, 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 you improve your intention, and the more you improve the quality of your a'mal and your actions, your ibadah and your worship, and um, the more you are able to uh, take initiative and, and build on your relationship with Allah, then the greater the chances of that enjoyment and that halawa, that sweetness comes. And once you enjoy the sweetness of, uh, of, of obedience and the sweetness of ibadah and worship of Allah, wa ta'ala, there's nothing that can supersede it in terms of enjoyment. Not the pleasures of the flesh, not the pleasures of the tongue in terms of, or the palate in terms of food, not uh, any material gain or fame. Uh, all of that uh, pales into insignificance when it comes to the, 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 the pleasure. That's why Sahaba, the arrow would strike them and they wouldn't break their salah. Um, that's why you see the pious, uh, the worst of conditions and, and weather and all of that, they still remain in their routine of ibadah and worship. When they go in sajda, they don't want to come up. Uh, such is the enjoyment. When they're making dua to Allah wa ta'ala, they don't want to stop. Such is the enjoyment. So may Allah wa ta'ala make us amongst those who understand the true nature of ibadah and worship and who exert ourselves and who are blessed with acceptance and who are blessed with great reward and maximum reward and the, the sweetness of iman. Subhanallah. 
والحمد لله ولا اله الا الله والله اكبر سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا اله الا الله والله اكبر